Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, Andrew here again. I'm um, Batch Accuser with another video, and as I said last time I was here, um, this is going to be my um, update video for July. Um, <laughs> I have a massive um, list of movies that I bought for July, so I'm going to, you know, get right into it. For some reason, you know what? Um, I spent quite a bit extra money on some movies uh, online, and then uh, they had some really good deals on Amazon and whatnot. And I also um, found finally found a video store here in Chicago that that sells movies for really really cheap. So I went all out. Also, um, there's something else coming up here that I'll show you, but I'm gonna get right into it because I have a massive amount of movies to show you. Um, first up, I upgraded all five of the Paranormal Activities to Blu-ray DVD combo packs. So I have all of them, and I got the sixth one coming in, the Ghost Dimension. So I got all those. Um, I really love that. They're really the series that really um, solidified my love of the horror genre. You know, um, the first Paranormal Activity I watched and when I was like 15, 16, and I just... I just fell in love with it. I mean, it was it, it's awesome. Great memories that that brings up. <laughs> um, up next, I have um, I got the second and third Jaws movies. Um, more on Jaws three in a little bit, but um, I bought these and they were actually really cheap online. I'm not buying the fourth one. I really hate the fourth one um, so much so that I am a completist. I will not complete that. Same as me not owning Resurrection of Halloween. Uh, but yeah, Jaws 2 and 3, really fun movies. I really enjoy these. I watched them for the first time ever, like, the whole way through recently, and they're fun. I mean, the third one is only good if you'd watch in 3D, but the second one, honestly, is a really, really good movie. It's got some really good scenes to it. Um, these ones I honestly were not planning on buying, but um, Open Water and Open Water 2. Now, I have not watched Open Water 2, and I saw Open Water in 04 when it came out on um, in, uh, the in theaters. Um, I was really creeped out by it. It's a creepy movie. I honestly haven't watched it since then. I know it's a micro-budget movie and made with a really bad camera, so... Um, I haven't watched it yet. Um, hopefully watch it within the next week or two. We'll see if I like it or not. I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, up next, I got a couple movies um, that I that I have here that I bought at the uh, the video store. So I got the combo pack of the Apparition. As you guys know, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. It's pretty cheap, so I I, I kind of like it enough to watch it on Blu-ray. I kind of you know I, if I'm gonna watch a movie like that, I might as well watch it on Blu-ray. It looks good. Um, next, I got John Carpenter's The Ward. Now, I really liked this movie when I watched it on um, Am uh, Netflix. Um, I know my brother has the, the DVD of this. I might be giving him this one. Spoiler alert, Austin, if you're watching this. Um, so, yeah. I really did like this movie. It's got a really good cast to it, and it's 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 a really intriguing story. Um, next up is Devil's Dues. You guys know I own the DVD of this. I upgraded this to the combo pack. Um, probably be giving my brother the uh, the DVD of this. Um, yeah, I really like this story. It's a really good found footage film. It's a fun one. It's not overly scary, but it's got a good story to it. So, you know, I just, I like it for what it is. Next up was my number one guilty pleasure movie is The Happening. I bought this on Blu-ray, so now I have uh, the Blu-ray and digital copy of this. Uh, man, is this so much fun. Um, yeah, I really love this movie. Glad I'll be able to watch it on Blu-ray now. Um, next up is actually one that was actually my birthday present, so it was from back in May. I don't remember showing you guys this, and uh, I haven't reviewed them to see if I, if I did show you this, but I got the Visit um, combo pack. Yeah, I, I love this movie. It was one of my favorites. The Visit, it's probably my third favorite Shyamalan film. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just wait till last to show you guys these. Um, a couple others is uh, Sinister 2. Yeah, it was the rental copy of it. I, You know, it normally bothers me, but you know what? It's whatever. It was still Blu-ray. still looks fine. Um, that does just... It does... It's kind of a little annoyance, but... 
Um, I really did like this one. I know it got a lot of really bad critical reviews and anybody I watched online said they didn't really like it. But honestly, I, it was a really nice story. I was intrigued by it. It's, it's pretty... You know, it's you know, it's got more like cliche jump scares and whatnot than the first one, but you know, it's it's whatever. This next one is just a fun movie, Stage Fright. It's a musical uh, slasher. It was on my list of summer movies from last week, so I already reviewed it. But yeah, it's super fun movie. It's got really good music. Um, next up is The Last House on the Left. Um, man, this is the Wes Craven one. Um, I. I own this on DVD. I recently gave that to my brother. I want to watch this on Blu-ray because if you guys have seen the movie, it looks really grainy, and I was I was uh, kind of wanting to see what it looked like in Blu-ray. And honestly, it looks a lot better. It's still really grainy, but it, you can see the pictures a lot more clear. So I highly recommend getting it on Blu-ray. It's only like five or seven dollars, so it's worth upgrading. Next one, I want to thank. Um, um, I can't remember the name on uh, off the top of my head, but I, I was given the recommendation to upgrade this, uh, Sorority Row. I absolutely love this movie. It's a phenomenal remake. Um, it's, it's a damn good time. Um, yeah, it looks really good on Blu-ray, so I recommend upgrading that too. Next up is Mama. I got this for like five bucks on uh, Amazon, uh, brand new. Uh, picture quality looks really good on Blu-ray, um, and yeah, it's it's a really I really like this movie. It's a really 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 scary movie. Um, yeah, I, it's a really good story. So I'm glad I got that. Um, I got four more regular Blu-rays or two more regular Blu-rays to show you guys. Um, I got the Scream Factory of Jeepers Creepers two. This is uh, this is actually my favorite of the Jeepers Creepers movies. Um, of the two, um, I this this cover just looks absolutely phenomenal. It looks so cool if you can see that. If you haven't seen it yet on Screen Factory, I hopefully will be getting the first one actually today. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, it's a super super enjoyable movie. Um, last but not least, I got the uh, Canadian. Uh, release of The Witch on Steelbook. It is a uh, Blu-ray DVD combo pack, and if you want to see both sides, this is the both sides. I really love the fact that the front cover is the poster cover and not this. I'm not as big of a fan of having this on the Blu-ray of the regular, you know, U.S. release, and it only comes it with the, the Blu-ray. So this is a combo pack, and it's the Steelbook, and it's got a really cool cover. I'm really glad that I bought this. Looks awesome. Um, the Blu-ray looks really good. Um, yeah, it's it's super cool. It was like twenty-eight dollars or twenty-five bucks, so it's whatever. Next up, I bought the Village. Uh, Shyamalan. Actually, I should have showed that with the other ones, but this is a DVD. I bought two, well, three DVDs, but the next one you'll be seeing a little bit uh, later. Um, I bought the the Village. I watched it recently. It's it's fine. It's a good story. It's it's beautifully shot, beautiful score. So it it's it's pretty. It's got some really good tense moments too. Now this next one is one that's plagued me from getting for the pat next couple months for the last like year since. Um, yeah, it's Wes Craven's Summer of Fear. Now this was a TV movie from 1979. Uh, I believe it's 79 or 78. Um, I'm actually not seeing the uh, the year on this right now. Um, I want to say it was 79, but it could be 78. Um, yeah, it doesn't say the year on it at all. Um, either way, it's one of those two years. It actually stars Linda Blair and was directed by Wes, and it was not written by him. But if you ever saw I Know What You Did Last Summer, which most of you probably have, um, the book was written of I Know What You Did Last Summer was written by Lois Duncan, who also wrote the, the book of this. Um, and it's it's uh, apparently, um, apparently it's really good. It's got some pretty good reviews on, on um, uh, IMDb. We'll see. You know, I it's a TV movie, and I'm not expecting the most from it because I've seen Invitation to Hell. I have not watched this yet. I'm actually going to wait until I get back to watch this with my brother. Um, but yeah, this was the last like major like 
expensive movie from Wes Craven that I had yet to buy, and I pretty much completed my Wes Craven collection, except for <coughs> um, um, uh, Vampires in Brooklyn and uh, Music of the Heart, his uh, drama movie. But that's basically the only two that I have left to buy, but yeah. Super glad that I got that taken care of. I finally bought that, just broke down and said, you know what, I might as well buy it now. Um, so yeah, um, I recently, um, so with Jaws 3D, I was, uh, with Jaws 3, you can only watch the 3D of it if you own a blue, a 3D Blu-ray player and a 3D TV or, you know, something like that. Well, I recently discovered that you can buy this 3D video wizard thing, which is a 3D converter for 2D TV. Um, I, for one, honestly... If it's a good 3D, like, not like the shit that you get from the Friday the 13th 3Ds, the, the really terrible um, red and blue glasses. If it's decent 3D, I honestly really, really enjoy watching movies in 3D. Um, the 3D glasses that come with this are really, are kind of bad. Um, I bought separate 3D glasses that... Um, that work really really well they're actually um these ones are like blue and black and they don't they're still the anoglyph they so they still have the two colors but they don't look as distorted as you see on like the friday the 13th ones so this is actually worth um investing in if you like 3d it's only like it's only like 40 dollars so with that, I bought quite a few 3D movies, um, and I bought uh, four horror 3D movies. Um, one of these being uh, Hansel and Gretel in 3D, which um, is a more of an action horror movie, um, but this is a three-disc um, combo pack, and I absolutely had a blast with this movie. It's really fun. It looks good in 3D. Next one is uh, Final Destination. This is the fourth one in 3D, which honestly, if you guys have seen this movie, you know it's, pr it's the worst of all five of the Final Destinations. But if you're going to watch it, you might as well watch it in 3D. And honestly, it's a damn fun time. I was watching it last night. If you watch it in 3D, it's at least worth watching for the 3D effects alone. And they look really good in this movie converted, so... The next one I didn't know how it would look on uh, 3D, but it actually looks really, really good. Um, and that's Predator. Um, this is more of a sci-fi action movie, but it has horror elements. If you think about it, this is pretty much a slasher movie. You know, the Predator's killing people one by one. It, it, you know, it, and, and with it being released in the 80s, I'm almost certain that you couldn't get away from the thought of, like, this is pretty much like a slasher movie. If you were watch, if you lived in the '80s, you probably were aware of that. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is pretty much a mainstream slasher movie that really is, you know, is, you know, this hiding itself within an action sci-fi movie um, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Carl Weathers, and Jesse Ventura in this movie. You know, you're getting this macho you know, guy movie that's just, it's a damn fun time, though, if you've seen this. The 3D looks really good in this movie, too, with uh, with watching it. I have it all set up. I was watching it a little bit last night, and it's really super fun. Um, next up is I upgraded my uh, my Bloody Valentine to the uh, the 3D, the Blu-ray. So now I have the, um, the, the DVD and the Blu-ray in here, so I got, you know, I got that. And it didn't come with a cover, so I have it in my DVD, you know, slip, you know, kind of case like this. So, but yeah, I, I really, I really love My Bloody Valentine. And with that, I didn't show this earlier because I wanted to show these two together, but I got the, I finally got this. This is the um, the uncut version of the uh, the My Bloody Valentine. So this includes all the extra gore, all the extra death scenes that you're missing in the regular R-rated version. So I finally have this, and uh, I I really want to upgrade this to the Blu-ray. But right now, if you if you pay attention at all on you know you know for the Blu-ray of it, it's like fifty dollars, and there's no way in hell I'm paying fifty dollars for one movie. And I you know I may one day, but 
I'm really hoping that it, they go down in price. Um, but yeah, I was watching some of the extra death scenes, and it's worth the uh, upgrade for me. So, you know, that is all of my horror movies. Um, I do have a couple um, non-horrors that I wanted to show you guys. And I, as you see, a lot of these have been upgrades. Um, a, a lot, some of these are like um, new movies, and that's the same with some of these too. I think the majority of these are actually upgrades in this. Um, first up is uh, Spring Breakers, which you saw in my uh, my uh, 22, you know, question thing. Um, I showed the DVD of this. I upgraded it to Blu-ray because if I'm gonna watch a movie like this, might as well just watch it in Blu-ray. Um, you know, it looks good on Blu-ray. It's a rather depressingly deep movie within a fun spring movie. Um, it's it's honestly I I like the film. It's a really well made film, really well shot. Next is Getaway. Um, this contains I bought this solely because it was two fifty and it had Selena Gomez in it, but it also has Ethan Hawke. And I saw Ethan, you know, I've seen Ethan Hawke in. Um, you know, it's, it, I see him in uh, The Purge, and also he's in Sinister, too. He's a main character in both of them. And, uh, you know, he's really good. And honestly, this is like one of the one of those people... This is for the people who like Taken, and who like, you know, those kinds of like thrill, like dark thriller movies like that. This is another one of those, but this is more of like Fast and Furious meets Taken kind of movie. Um, it, it, I, I watched the majority of this movie the, um, this past week, and honestly, it's a really, really fun movie. Um, it's just one of those, like, time-killer movies, like Gone in 60 Seconds, Fast and the Furious. It's one of those movies where it's just a time-killer movie that's, like, fun. I bought it for Selena Gomez. It's, it's whatever. Um, next is the upgrade to of Footloose. I bought the combo pack of it. Um, Again, it was only five bucks. I I really love this. This is one of my favorite, more um, more well liked remakes of the non horror genre. Um, it's a really fun movie. I really like what they did. I pretty much like most of this movie. I think they did a fine job with it story wise. Um, next one is uh, Waterworld. Now I had this on DVD. Um, I upgraded this to Blu-ray because the DVD has a little bit of grain. I noticed with all of all a lot of the '90s movies, like um, I know what you did last summer and Scream, a lot of them have like a lot of grain to them and a lot of with the DVDs. And then you upgrade them to Blu-ray and they look fantastic. And the same thing is true with this. Um, I really think that this looks really great. Um, same thing with like Brokeback Mountain. It looks. Like, Universal, I think, does a good job with most of their transfers. Because, you know, I have, um, I have uh, Halloween 2, I have Brokeback Mountain, I have Waterworld, I have the all three of the Jaws movies that are um, Universal. I can't remember if I have any other Universal releases. Um, oh, I have uh, Hansel and Gretel, I think, is Universal. Uh, no, that's Paramount, actually. My bad. Uh, I have a couple other Universals that are in there. But, yeah, they all look good. This was more expensive than what I wanted to pay for it. But you know what? I, I'd been wanting to get this for a while, and it was in pretty pristine condition, and I figured what the hell, I might as well buy it. Um, next two are another um, 3D. I actually have just have five left, so bear with me. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man. Now, this has a three-disc um, 3D Blu-ray, Blu-ray, and DVD. Now, this has all three discs in it. Um, honestly, I was, I was kind of curious to see how this would look in 3D, um, and I kind of forgot that a lot of these scenes kind of do work really well with 3D, especially like the scene where he kind of goes in and it's like that like blue ultraviolet kind of um, color and all the spiders are following him. That's a really cool looking scene in 3D. Um, the same thing with the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, the scene where... Um, Shocker um, is up in New York and he's doing all the, the, the things and all that stuff and everything's like blowing up around him and stuff. That scene looks phenomenal in 3D. Um, there's a couple other ones that, uh, that look really good too. Um, yeah, this is again, has all three discs in it. It's had this, um, you know, these were pretty expensive, but honestly, I honestly don't really care for these ones. I grew up on the Sam Raimi Spider-Mans, also being a horror fan, also loving Sam Raimi. 
I, I naturally just Spider-Man those ones. I don't really care for these ones. So if I'm ever in the mood to watch these or ever want to watch these, I might as well just watch them in 3D. But it's also kind of cool to have the Blu-ray and the DVD if I ever have friends over that really like these that want to watch these and I only have the Blu-ray or DVD player. So, yeah, I mean, I kind of... It is it is what it is. I, I have a fun time with them. They're, they're enjoyable enough. The next one's another superhero movie, um, Daredevil. Now, like I said before, I either really like really campy superhero movies or really dark ones. This falls into the dark category. I really would have liked to have gotten the, um, the uh, director's cut because I heard the director's cut has a lot of really good extra scenes and is a lot, of, is really a lot darker and has a better story. But, you know, i only actually seen this twice before, and, you know, I was watching a good bit of these scenes when I bought it, and I bought it for a dollar, so, you know, I enjoy this enough, and I still really like it, and Colin Farrell's the villain, and Jennifer Gardner's it, and I, I really don't understand the hate for Ben Affleck, I really do like Ben Affleck, so, um, two more, Young Guns, if you ever seen this, this is the Really one of the only Western movies that I really like. Only, the only other one that I like is Unforgiven. Um, and that's just because it's such a damn good story. But this one is my favorite by far because it's a comedy Western. And you can kind of like it even if you don't really care for Westerns. Like true Westerns. Um, and this has a cast. Damn does it have a cast. Kiefer Sutherland, Charlie Sheen, Emilio Estevez. Um, uh, uh, Lou Diamond Phillips uh, in there. This has a good cast, and it's and I think Martin Sheen is in this a little bit too. I can't remember if he is or not. Um, but this is such a hilarious movie, and this has so many mo so many scenes that just have me laughing my ass off. Uh, last but not least, um, I th I got this for like a dollar, and like the front half it doesn't even have a front half. Um, but it's American Pie, the first American Pie. I got this and was like, you know what, I, I need American Pie because this is like one of the few comedies that I really love from growing up that I really didn't have. And this is really fun. I mean, it's a really funny movie and it genuinely is. It's one of the, I, I'm not normally a big fan of like comedies because I think they're really generic and I don't really, I think some of it, been, it fall into the category of just being, trying to be as many raunchy jokes as we can get into one movie or uh, as many forced, lame jokes as we can get into one movie. None of them really work, but this one is one that really works for me. Um, so yeah, that's that's my update collection. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I got a shit ton of movies this month. Um, yeah, so without further ado, that was my list. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment. What was your favorite movie that you liked in this? What are some of the movies that stood out to you? Um, yeah, I, you know, all my 3D ones. I'll actually be getting another 3D movie soon that should be on next month's uh, collection update. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, please like, comment as much as possible. Thanks guys for tuning in. I got one more video in this room for the summer, and then the next video will be at home back in Pennsylvania again with my brother. Um, so yeah, my next week's video, um, I honestly don't know what it's going to be. Um, it could be, it could be, um, I could do haunted house movies, I could do my top 30 slashers list that I wanted to do. Honestly, I, 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 you'll just, it'll just be a surprise, you'll see. Um, I'll try to think of something to do special for my last video of the summer, um, here in this room. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thanks guys for tuning in. Have a great day.